The Ironheads went into Sunday's game against the Mississauga Tomahawks in 7th place in the Eastern Conference. A win could leapfrog them over the Griffins thanks to the tiebreaker, but a Tomahawks win would make the playoff race a whole lot more complicated. So how did it turn out? Well, it was all Mississauga early on. Trailing by one midway through the first, the Tomahawks strung together a nice run where they scored three unanswered goals against the Ironheads and took a two-goal lead heading into the first intermission. But the coaches must have said something right in the dressing room for the Ironheads. 30 seconds into the second, Jake Gilmore buries it before taking out Bobby Glenn. I heads down 3-2. Five minutes later, Kyle Robson would tie the game up for the Ironheads. Now, you could consider this a granny shot because the release point was underneath the waist, but it worked out tremendously. Now, down 4-3 later on in the second, Colton Gaunt gets on his horse for a breakaway. Now, flashback to last game, where Gaunt had a chance all alone in front and was denied. So what will it be this time? Scores! His second of the year, tying the game up at 4. 30 seconds later, Aiden Conlon takes a feed from the corner and wires this one home, giving the Ironheads their one goal lead back that they had in the start of the game. A few minutes later, the Ironheads keep coming. Curtis Rout steps into this one from the point. It finds its way past Bobby Glenn. I heads up 6-2. Then with the Irons down a man, Dalton McKinnis spots Ryan Morrison all alone beside the net. Morrison makes no mistake. The Ironheads would score seven goals in the second period, all from different players, as they were up 8-4. In the third, more of the same for the Ironheads. Tomahawks let Ryan Morrison just walk straight in here. He loads up and sends this one to the back of the net, his second of the night. Then with the Ironheads leading 9-6, Jake Gilmore puts this one away with this snazzy little beauty, his 23rd of the year. Despite a shaky start, Tyler Newman bounced back in the final two periods for yet another tremendous outing for him on the season. As the Ironheads take this one 10-6 and move into 6th place in the East with 14 points, Mississauga holds on to 10th with just 10. Here are the Ironheads on the importance of this game. Well, it was big and tonight because we needed the two points, so uh, it was a little more important than last night. Uh, of course, we needed them. They were two behind us, so if they uh, they won, they were right with us. So we that was big. We just said, you know, you can't take these teams for granted. Yeah, they have a you know a worse record, mind you. It's only one win less than us uh, going in tonight, but. Uh, just kind of seemed like the guys came out with not enough energy. And that Mississauga team, I mean, uh, they work really hard, and they completely outworked us in that first period. Second period came out, the guys just worked harder. We told them, you have to want it more. We're more skilled than these guys, and we're more athletic than these guys, but these guys are outworking you. So that second period, I thought that the effort level was through the roof, and that's why we were able to come out with a win. Both of our goalies are exceptional goalies. I wouldn't be, uh, like, totally clear with myself if we didn't have them. Uh... I, I just think they're one of the best goalies in the league right now.